Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from this, today's title, I'm going to be testing out some makeup that I got for Christmas and most of it is Ted Baker, so... Um, for Christmas I got this beautiful Ted Baker set. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. And it opens up and there is some Ted Baker products in here. To be honest, I Ted Baker is one of those brands that I'm not familiar with at all. Um, I know that he has like clothing and stuff, but I never knew that he had makeup. I feel like I don't know where I am living right now, but I didn't know Ted Baker had makeup at all. I'm just going to be testing out these products. This is called, I'm pretty sure this is, this this set is called All in the Eyes. So we have like a little eyeshadow palette, we have a mascara, we have, I have no idea what they are. And these are like, these are like pencil eyeshadows, eye, eye, eye creams or whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to be testing out all these and put them to the test. I feel I also got a few other things for Christmas, little other makeup bits. So I'm going to be testing out, this is an eye and face palette from Essence and I'm just going to be using the highlighter and I'm going to be using the blush on my face today. So I'll just open it up here. So as you can see, there's a really pretty blush and there's a really pretty highlight and then there is four eyeshadow shades. I have used the eyeshadow shades before. I've used this one and this one and I have used the eyeliner but and I have and I have used the eyeliner, but um it's just so beautiful. I have to show you. The next thing I got is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. So I got a f I did I did have one of these um in like the sample sizes. But this one is the complete big one. It is gigantic. I forgot I had this and um, I already like primed my base with concealer because I always do that. Like it's just something that I, I do like without even thinking about it. And then I also have this tiny little color and care lipstick with avocado butter and it's from Essence. And it is, it does have a shade. This is shade number one, don't be shy. Those are the products that I'm going to be using. I know there's not much, but it's kind of mostly focused at the Ted Baker stuff. So I'm just going to start off by priming with the Urban Decay. Oh, by the way, I do have my face done. So I have my foundation done, I have my concealer done, and I, ha I have set it. So I don't know if I should go in with this on my eye. I think I might anyway, just to see what it's like. I absolutely love the top of it. It's like a crystal kind of thing. And it twists off and then you have a little wand and you just spread this all over your eye. It looks like a little clear colour. Oh yeah, so it's like a clear colour. It would be like the same colour as as like concealer. The colour, the shade of the concealer I'd put on would be this shade anyway. That looks nice, it's like really bright in the eyes. Um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to set this or just go straight in with eyeshadows. This is stunning. Oh my god, look at the packaging. I kind of have my fingerprints on it. But it just says like Ted Baker and it's like rose gold. And it has a mirror. I think that's so, so pretty. That is like the prettiest packaging ever. It's on the back of it. It says eyeshadow trio, so I'm not sure. I think that's so cute. That would be so nice to travel with as well. So the next little section I have is, this is a mascara and it's the same packaging. And this here is a, this is a bare bone highlight. The next little part of it, we have two of the same ones. So I'm guessing they're like the cream eyeshadows. I'll take them out. Yeah, these are the crayon cream eyeshadows. So there is a really, well, there's like a dark green one. And then there is like a shimmery pink, soft pink one. These are so creamy. They're like really, really soft to, they're really, really soft to like swatch. You can see them, but there's the pink one and there's the green one. And then we have one little product left in here. And this is... Oh, it's an eyeliner! I never knew that there was an eyeliner in here. So there's an eyeliner as well. 
Okay, so I think I'm first gonna go in with this and I'm going to... As you can see, we have like a white little shade and, and this is a shimmer one. This is like a matte one and this is matte also. So I'm gonna take like the matte white and just dust that all over my eyelid. Just to kind of set the primer because I'm not sure like how you're even supposed to use primer. I'd say a lot of people who are watching this right now are like pretty shocked at the fact that I didn't know Ted Baker had makeup. Um, but because it is like such a well known brand, like even if you're like not into makeup or clothing or whatever, if you hear the word Ted Baker you kind of like know, like you know like what it is. But um, where I live there you don't actually have like much, there, there's drugstore brands and stuff. But there isn't like high-end brands, so if I want to buy high-end brands, I have to get it from online. So like when I'm going online shopping, it's kind of like I have to search for what I want. Um, I don't ever buy off Sephora, I've never purchased anything from Sephora, but I would normally just go on to brands that I like or that I want to try and buy their products off their actual website. Um, so like what I do with Tarte and stuff and what I do with Morphe is I buy their products off the actual website and if I'm gonna buy like or if I'm like looking for some brands like new brands or whatever um then I'll just go on like Beauty Bay or something like that that is kind of like a Sephora but it's like an online like it stocks brands but um but like stuff like Ted Baker and stuff they wouldn't really be on that brand on that website so I'm then I'm just gonna take this middle shade so it's the matte shade and I'm just gonna like put this on my outer crease these shadows they aren't really that pigmented to be honest with you I know I'm used to like shadows like brands with eyeshadows that are like super super pigmented and like known for it but I'm like really digging into this eyeshadow and I'm like not getting any payoff whatsoever like you can see like yeah as I'm like building it up I'm getting a bit of a colour but like this is of like constantly digging into the same shade and like applying it I'm then gonna go in with p pinky shade in the crayon and I'm just gonna kind of like smear it all over my lid I've never actually like used a product like this. this. These ones here are super pigmented. This is just like a really light colour but like you do get the shimmer if you look closely. Now I'm going to leave it at this and then I'm going to go in with a small brush and just dust that darker matte shade under my, under my lower eyelashes. My bottom lash. The next thing we're going to be doing, I might just do like a tiny little line of eyeliner. I'm not really like big into eyeliner. This eyeliner, as you can see here, is super, super, super fine. So I think I'm just going to do like a really plain and simple line. The next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with the mascara. This mascara has their, I think they're silicone bristles, I'm pretty sure. And it's a very it's like a normal shape brush on the on the end on the inner part and then on the end it just gets skinnier so I feel like for this kind of small brush it'll be really easy to get into those little nooks so the mascara as you can see it is very like um it spreads your lashes out of course but I don't think it really lengthened my lashes at all to be honest my lashes are normally this kind of length it just darkened them i have i do have long lashes but they are oh i just touched my face with that i do have long lashes but on the end they're blonde so if i get my lashes dyed i do have really really long lashes because you can see where i have them like where i they were blonde so by putting on mascara it really hasn't done anything to my lashes but darkened them and like spread them out this would be like a really pretty um like everyday natural kind of mascara. 
So while that's drying and my, my little mistakes are drying, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the blush and the highlight. So I've recently like got all new Morphe brushes, well not recently but I've started using them so I'm going to be using this Morphe brush here, it's like, um, it's not, it's definitely not a blush brush but I kind of been, I've been liking it like if I'm using it like on the side like this and just like dapping it up, it does kind of pick up a lot of product um, so you kind of have to be careful with it but um, I didn't really have I'm not really sure on like the type of blush brush that is such a tongue twister I'm not really sure the type of blush brush that I'm like that I want to be using on my skin like I had one before that was like big um, I've used it all the time I had one before that was like big and it was like it wasn't dense at all that one is a lot more dense than it but um I don't know I'm not I kind of my camera just died for a few seconds but I've been putting on highlight and I don't know if you can see that but like that highlight is so glowy and it's a type of highlight where I can like put it like almost all over my face and not look oily and it, I just look super healthy because of the shade of it, it just matches perfectly with my skin tone. So I went off camera and I did my brows before I, like right before I did this I totally forgot about this little lip product from Essence so I'm just gonna jump right in here with this. It is like so super flat, like it's untouched. It's very satisfying right now and I'm just about to ruin it. The colour is rare, like very out there, I wouldn't really go for something like this bright. But it smells absolutely amazing, it's like, what is it, avocado butter? It doesn't smell anything like avocados. I'm not really a big fan of avocados, but this smells amazing. It is very pink to wear on its own. I think the camera isn't really picking up how pink it is. Um, I think that's pretty much all the products that I have that I tested out. Um, overall, I think that the Ted Baker products that I did test out were good. Maybe not for the eyeshadows, but as you kind of like dug past that first layer of them, they were getting better. They weren't like good pigmented eyeshadows but they were definitely better than when I first started using them. Um, um, the mascara, yeah, I think I kind of, I'm, I'm growing on the mascara. I wouldn't wear it. I mean if you're, if you're a lashes kind of girl, you could wear it under lashes perfectly fine but it, I mean, I'm comparing it to the best mascara that I've ever tried so maybe like I'm just being a bit unfair but it is a super 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 good mascara I would use it again the eyeliner well, thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any like recommendations of Ted Baker products or like if you've tried any comment them down below I'd love to like see what other like stuff is in his ranges or in, in his brand um thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Saturday for a brand new